Hey everybody, Scout Crafty here again, Mishmash Monday. Hope you're doing well. Um, I don't know how long this video is going to be. It might be a short one. I have some house sitting to do this weekend, so I won't be able to get be in my shop or whatever to do much. So I wanted to get something done today before I do it. And uh, what a couple of you enjoyed the uh, the redo of the torch, the Lenk torch, and and did want to see it electrified into a, a light. Uh, so I thought I would go about it in a different manner. I don't know if this is going to work out or not. Just something I was thinking about. And, uh, to do it, we have to take a trip up into the attic. Everybody's favorite. Let's go upstairs into the attic. Okay. Before we go upstairs, I just wanted to point out, remember last week we found this lamp on the poor man's flea market. We didn't know how it was supposed to sit or whatever. Well, raw bacon, good friend of the show, did some investigating, found out that this lamp is actually a designer lamp that's still in uh, production today. And uh, this is indeed the way it's supposed to sit on a table. And look at the price of that. It's not a cheap lamp, but I'm not one of those guys that when the price of something is higher, I like it more. So, but what do you think about that? Pretty amazing, right? And everybody's favorite, the attic. Yep, the attic. So uh, let's talk about, first of all, I want to show you this. My buddy John Crane did a fantastic video on hard hats. And if you haven't seen it, you got to check it out. The history of hard hats. And he did it. He was uh, basically like this one here. You can see here. It's a bullard. And uh, he did a whole history on bullard and all of the hard hats. And this is a couple of the ones that I actually. But this one here is my favorite. I've had this one since I'm a kid. This here, this Aluma cap, Aluma cap. This thing is the cat's pajamas. Okay, but uh, we're not there for that. We're here. I got to do a video on that one day. I'm here for fiber optics. So let's see fiber optics. Let's see what we got here. Uh, <laughs> Fresno lenses. Sorted meters, light bulbs, blah, blah, blah. fiber optic cable. That's it. Let's get now, it. Now, I bought these years ago um, to do some kind of projects or whatever. I got these. These are cutoffs, and they're fiber optic cables. And fiber optics are actually like a glass-like tubing that transmits light through it, and you could bend it, and you could turn it. And I always wanted to use it. I could never come up with a project to figure it out. I wanted to run headlights on model cars, things like that. Let me show you how it works. Here's the end of the uh, fiber optics here, and here's the other end, right? Watch what happens when I put it in front of a light. Watch this end as I put it in front of a light. You see how it lights up? You see how that lights up there? And uh, there we go. Can you see that? I'm putting that up. So now what that means is this will transmit light, and uh, I think there's a special way to cut this and whatever. I'd like to experiment with it, but I never have. I don't put it in anything, but you could see here how it can transmit different lights. So I thought if we could transmit this, and let me show you another uh, fiber optic interesting thing. This here was given to me by my buddy Andrew Richter. You know, you know Andrew. We all love Andrew. Now you could see here this is a fiber optic, and this is very interesting. They use this in, in hospitals and things like that. Now all this is is a, a generator with a light you know, like a projector has a light in there or, and this is a all fiber optic tubing. You see, it comes up and around like this and here's the head. Now, the reason you would have that is because two reasons. One, it doesn't have electricity in it. So you could put this in an area that's flammable or you could work around flammable. If you had something like a bulb in here and you had flammable materials like gases or anything, it could explode. This, everything is contained in here, the light source, and it just travels up here. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to turn it on. You'll hear a fan come on. You see? And you can see the venting here. Now the light is on. And look, it's coming out here. You see? And you could see, it's, and you can adjust the light focus here. Let me shut this off so you can see what it looks like here. Okay, now if you look down here, that's the light. You can see I can adjust to a nice pinpoint, right? Or I could widen it out. That's all done by just turning this. And that little tube here, all that is, it presses in here. And I'll show you. I'll pull this out. There we go. And there's the light. This is just a tube. 
with fiber optics and there's the light. So that's basically what I want to do. I want to try to do with the lantern. Okay, so this is the uh, torch that we wanted to put a, a light out of here. And my idea was, because this, this goes straight through, when you take this out of here, um, it goes straight through to the top. I was thinking I could run fiber optics up here, into here and around, and then somehow turn a bulb out of acrylic, which should illuminate with the end of the fiber optics. <laughs> this is this is my guess on, on doing it. And uh, to do that, uh, we got this from upstairs. Now, the brighter the light that goes in, the brighter the light that comes out. And you want to kind of concentrate it, and I'll show you what I mean. You couldn't really see it upstairs too well. Now, depending on how long this is, you're always going to have a little bit of loss. But there isn't too much loss, but you do have a lot uh, uh, loss depending on the length. So we're going to have a very short length, so it shouldn't have too much loss in light. Now, what I'm going to do, like I said, the brighter the light going in, the brighter the light coming out. I have this flashlight that's pretty high intensity. I'm going to shine it into here. And I'm going to show you, but let me cut the lights off, like I said, so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, the lights are off. I'm going to turn this on. You can see this is a bright light, you know, flashlight. But look here at the end here. Now, I'm holding this away. You see how much light comes out of there? Look at that. You know, that's, this is, uh, fiber optics are super amazing. Now, I'm thinking if I could turn a piece of orange acrylic into a shape of a flame and insert this into the back, I think this is enough light to illuminate it. What do you think? Okay, this is the kind of idea I had. Uh, a couple years back, I bought this piece of acrylic at uh, Elephant Trunk Flea Market. Acrylics are a wonderful material to work with. They do; they are tricky. If you use too much heat, they craze, they they blister up. You know, it's a. It, but if you turn it nice and slow, and you could polish it out, it'll come out nice. You can make all kinds of things out of this, right? Uh, my idea was to uh, do this: was to make a shape like this. And you can see here, just have a, a long tube coming down that'll fit inside the nozzle of the torch. Inside of that, another hole. And in that hole, the fiber optics will pass and uh, illuminate this shape as I'll turn on the lathe. Now, um, one thing, one nice thing about fiber opt, uh, acrylic is that it transfers light in a funny way. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to put the light here. And it kind of glows. It makes the whole thing glow. So it'll look like a flame, you know. And uh, hopefully uh, that'll be, you know, looking good. So let's try that. Okay, now the first thing we're going to need is the diameter of the inside of this tube. So if you take your calipers here on the other side, not this side, the opposite side, it has an uh, inside caliper measurement. So you push this in here and you just open it up and you read it like this. And you can read here. Uh, we have about 415 thousandths of an inch, okay? But to double check that, or to get the right fit, we go to our pin gauge. And pin gauges are nothing more than a set of pins that uh, range in size. In this case, it goes from 251 thousandths all the way to 500 thousandths, which is a half inch. So... It's written here. Let me you can show see you. it's engraved right below each pin. Now, this is a, <laughs> this is not something that uh, every workshop could have. But if you ever come across them at a flea market or uh, you do this kind of work, it's it's a nice thing to have. So let's pull out 415th, which is this one here, 415. And then we'll try this in here and see how that fits. Okay. And we want to have a... Now, this is a nice fit. It's a, yeah, that's a beautiful fit. There's no wobble, fits nice. So that's perfect. That's what we want, 415. If it was a little loose, you could try the next size up. They go in one thousandths of an inch all the way up. And uh, there we go. Okay, we turned this down. We cut a piece off. We turned this to 415 thousandths of an inch. And you can see here, the fiber optics will fit in here. Uh, I didn't want it to be too tight in there to bunch up, you know, so I want them to kind of spread out a little bit. This is the back of the flame that we're starting, and a test fit shows that you could see here. It's a nice kind of just the right fit, right? That's just what we want. Now we have to form this to look like a flame, and uh, I don't know. I'm hoping this works because it's a lot of fun. 
Okay, we roughed it out on the lathe a little bit here, and now I took it to the sand. We're gonna sand this down. We have to get the proportions right of the flame, but you could see how it's coming here, how it's starting to look. And hopefully that'll be enough and I to illuminate this. But when you polish this up, the reflections should should illuminate this. Now, using our sanding pads and water, we're going to work our way from coarse down to fine and reshape it and get it to the point where we can polish it with Plastex. Once you have it to this point here, we're going to use a little Plastex now. This will polish it out and give it a little bit of a, a gloss here. And uh, we're not being stingy with the Plastex. We're using a, a, a damp paper towel. And uh, this will polish it out a little bit. And you can see, uh, sometimes you build up just a little bit of a heat when you're doing this here. And then we'll buff it out. We'll do it a couple times, but then we'll buff it out with the paper towel here. And this is always a very satisfying job. What do you think of that? That's pretty nice, right? Now the key is to get as many fiber optic uh, cables as we can in there so that we're gonna cut these in pieces here. I just cut it using cables cutters here. And then what I do is I strip off the outer jacket, okay? Using uh, just regular wire shears here and just slip up here. You'll see I can, cut it off and then you just got to cut a couple sections at a time you can't do it all at once you can't pull these fiber these glass fibers out at once you you just keep going up until you have these like this okay then what i do is i feed it into what used to be the gas valve here like this feed it in here and push it through with a piece of the jacket and just, just work it like this until it comes out. You see? See how it's coming out here? And we're gonna try and feed as many as we can through and then fill up that bulb. And we're calling this project done We're so far. Let me show you what we got here. We ran that uh, acrylic bulb that we made in there to represent a flame. We ran fiber optics all the way down to the bottom into the middle of the nut there. You wanna see something interesting? Watch when I hold this up to the light. Now you see that orange, I'm gonna hold the bulb up to the light and look, look at the bottom there. It looks like it's, let me see if I can focus. Can you see that? It looks like it's like it's burning almost, like an ember. That's the, uh, the orange, you're what, looking at the light passing through the orange. Isn't that something, you see that? It looks almost like it's on fire. Now, uh, hopefully when we pass some light through there, It'll come out there. Now the light box would have more candle power and be sealed that you wouldn't see any light on the bottom, but you could see how it kind of passes through that amber bulb there like that. So that's just the fiber optics. And then when you take it off, you know, so you'd have to have it over, sitting over something really bright. What do you think? Okay, so in closing, I guess I was hoping for a brighter boat something like this something bright like that i don't know i might might just take out the fiber optic and put some thin wires in and run maybe a bulb i don't know but uh we're on the right course what do you think so far it was fun down the shop had a ball today i hope you enjoyed it we'll see you again on wednesday and then we start our once a week <laughs> episodes so i hope you have a great day take care now bye-bye hey come here